Hello everyone, this is part two of the previous lecture entitled Present Simple and Present Continuous. I've already explained the present simple, so in this lecture I'm going to focus on present continuous and then move on to talk about the differences between present simple and present continuous. So present continuous, what is meant by present continuous? Present continuous tense is used to talk about actions that are going now at the time of speaking. So when I say I am doing something, it means I am in the middle of doing it. I have started doing it and I haven't finished yet. For example, number one, where is Mark? He's having a shower. Not he has a shower. Why? Because he is now, while I'm speaking, he is having a shower and he hasn't finished yet. Number two. So as you can see, he's having a shower at the time of speaking while I'm speaking now. Number two. You can turn off the radio. I'm not listening to it. it means I'm not listening to it now. Number three, we are going to get wet. It's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. Not it start to rain. Why? Because it is now starting to rain while I am speaking. Present continuous worksheets. As you can see, we have two worksheets on the left and on the right. Where are they? So, here are some pictures, number one, two, three, four, five. They are dancing. For example, number two, they are dancing. It means that those couples are still dancing now. They are shopping. He is driving a taxi. So, for example, number four, as you can see, that man is driving a taxi. I use the present continuous to indicate that he is still driving now. He is painting, as you can see in this number one, it means that he is still in the process of painting. He hasn't finished yet. All of them are doing certain activities that are not finished yet. Activity two. Look at the pictures and write what they are doing. As you can see, number one, this boy is probably listening to music. As you can see, he's doing some movements. He's dancing with the music. So, for example, I say he is listening to music. It means he is now listening to the music while I am speaking. Number three, number four. Number five, for example, she is cooking. As you can see, she is in the middle of the process. She is in the middle of cooking. Number six, she is riding a bike. Number seven, that boy is talking on the phone. He is still talking on the phone. So I say he is talking on the phone. And number eight, he is watching a TV or he is watching a cartoon. What is she doing? She's playing tennis. What is she doing? She's riding a bike, etc. Or, for example, what is he doing? He is drinking. He is drinking now. What is he doing? As you can see, he is still eating. So I say he is eating. He is swimming. He is still swimming. The difference between a present simple and a present continuous. Simple present and present continuous, or sometimes we can refer to it as present simple or simple present. If you remember, I've mentioned, I've already mentioned that we use the simple present or the present simple to talk about routines, daily routines, the things that you do every day, the things that you always do or the things that you usually do, habits. And scientific facts, for example, like the earth goes round the sun. This is what? This is a fact. 
I cannot say the earth is going round the sun. This is wrong. We don't use the present continuous to talk about facts. We only use the present simple to talk about scientific facts. And the present continuous, we use it to talk about actions in progress. And I have already mentioned that actions in progress means that actions that are still happening now at the time of speaking or at the moment of speaking. Difference between present simple and present continuous. We use the present simple when we want to talk about fixed habits or routines. It means things that don't change. We use the present continuous to talk about actions which are happening at the present moment, moment, sorry, and I keep repeating this over and over again. Compare these two statements. You have two examples. One is present simple and the second one is present continuous. I play tennis. Now this is present simple. I play tennis. And when I say I am playing tennis. I am playing tennis. This is present continuous. So you know how to form the present continuous. Is, am, um, are plus a verb with ing. So I assume you all know the rule or how to form present continuous tense. So if you hear these two sentences, what's the difference between them in meaning? The first one, I play tennis, tells us that playing tennis is something the speaker always does. Or it could be the, something that he usually does or very often, I'm not sure, but this is what his habit. He plays tennis. It could be always or it could be once in a week, twice in a week, once in a month, but this is his habit or his routine. So I use the present simple. But when I say I am playing tennis, it means it tells us that the speaker is playing tennis right now. I'm playing tennis means I am now playing tennis at the time of speaking. I'll give you another example. I teach grammar and I am teaching you the rules of grammar. The first one is present simple. Why did I use the present simple? When I say I teach a grammar, because this is my job. And if you remember, I've already uh, talked about, I've already mentioned that when you want to talk about your job or, or to describe your job, you need to use the present simple, not the present continuous. So I teach English grammar. I am an English teacher. This is my job. So I use the present simple. But when I say I am teaching you the rules of English grammar, right now I use the present continuous. It means I am now explaining to you the rules. Water boils at 100 degrees and water is boiling. Can you turn it off? As you can see, the first one is present simple water boils. The second one, water is boiling, present continuous. So, what does the first one indicate? When I say water boils at 100, it means I'm talking about scientific facts. And when I want to talk about scientific facts, I use the present simple. This is something that is always true. The second one is an action. Water is boiling. It means now the water is boiling. Hesse el mai jai irli. Present continuous. The third one. <clears throat> it doesn't rain very much in summer. And it isn't raining. The first one is a fact. The second one is an action. Are you listening to the radio? No, you can turn it off. This is a present simple. The second one, do you listen to the radio every day? No, just occasionally. This is present continuous. All right. Now, th the first one is a present simple. 
Sorry. It's vice versa. This is present continuous. This is not present simple. Are you listening to the radio? I have a uh, mistake in here. I should have written, I should have written present continuous. So th this sentence is present continuous. It indicates the activity of listening. And it has to listen to radio. The second one, do you listen to the radio every day? No, just occasionally. This is present simple. Sorry, not continuous. This is wrong. So, this sentence is present simple. It indicates what a habit. Do you listen to the radio every day? No, just occasionally. So, the speaker listens to the radio, let's say, occasionally. So, again, this is habit. That's why I used the present simple. The river Nile flows into the Mediterranean. البحر المتوسط. نهر النيل يصب في البحر المتوسط. This is present simple. I didn't say the river Nile is flowing into the Mediterranean. Why? Because this is a fact. This is something that is true about the river Nile. Whereas the second sentence, the river Nile is flowing very fast today much faster than usual so this is present continuous here I am indicating that the river Nile is flowing very fast today only today it is flowing very fast but it, this is not a permanent situation this is only temporary situation so I use the present continuous Frequency adverbs we use with the present simple. We use certain adverbs with present simple. We have always, often, or often, frequently, sometimes, every, occasionally, seldom, rarely, and never. These are used with the present perfect, sorry, with the present simple. I always read before I go to bed. I always read and they come before the main verb. يأتون قبل الفعل الرئيسي. لاحظوا هنا always قبل فعل read. Read هو هنا عندنا main verb. Another example. I always drink tea. So we use these adverbs to indicate the frequency of event. The frequency عدد التكرار مالت الحدث أو العادة اللي إحنا نسويها For example, when I say I always drink tea It means هذه عادة أنا دائما أسويها I always drink tea in the morning Or I can say I usually drink tea in the morning يعني مو دائما خلي نقول 70% 80% غالبا عادة I often drink tea in the morning أو I sometimes Drink tea in the morning. أنا بعض الأحيان أشرب الشاي. فلاحظوا هذه كلها عادات أسويها. عادي ممكن تكون دائما. ممكن تكون غالبا. ممكن تكون في معظم الأحيان. ممكن تكون بعض الأحيان. وممكن تكون rarely. نادرا. مثلا I rarely drink tea in the morning. أو ممكن تكون never. I never drink tea in the morning. أنا أبد ما أشرب الشاي في وقت الصباح. هذه دائما تأتي مع المضارع البسيط والمعنى مالتها to indicate the frequency of event عدد مرات التكرار للحدث أو للعادة اللي إحنا نسويها مثل ما ذكرنا إنه المضارع البسيط يستخدم ويا العادات with habits تبقى بعد الأوقات تكرار العادات تختلف فهذه الأوقات تحددها هذه الأدفيربز ممكن هذه العادات تكون يوميا دائميا مثل الالويز ممكن تكون مثل ما ذكرت بمعظم الاحيان فنستخدم اوفن وفريكوينتلي ممكن تكون ببعض الاحيان وممكن تكون نادرا وممكن تكون نيفر سو ات نيفر اوكرز انتهينا من الادفيربس اللي تستخدم ويا المضارع البسيط ناو وي كم تو ذا ادفيربس اور ذي كول ات تايم اكسبريشنز وي يوز وذ ذا بريزنت كونتينوس از يو كان سي ات ذا مومنت These days, now and now a days. I'm watching TV at the moment. لكن مو معناها 
خطا انه انا احذف at the moment so these time expressions are optional you can either uh, use them or you can uh, choose not to uh, include them when you talk or when you write so i'm watching a tv i can say i'm watching a tv and that's it or i am watching a tv at the moment <clears throat> some verbs are almost never used in the continuous forms these are called state verbs هسه نجي نتكلم عن افعال ما ممكن تاتي مع المضارع المستمر حتى لو انا اتكلم الان حتى لو انا الحدث اقصد الان لكن هذه الافعال عاده ما تاتي مع المضارع المستمر for example I like black coffee. Not I am liking black coffee. لاحظوا خليت like بلون طوخ حتى تعرفون إنه like أحد الأفعال اللي ما ممكن تأتي مع المضارع المستمر حتى لو أنت تقصد الآن ما ممكن هذا خطأ ما يصير تقول I am liking black coffee. هذه قاعدة ثابتة وهذه الأفعال خليتها لكم داخل مستطيل وبعد طبعا أكو لكن اللستة طويلة وموجودة عندكم بالكتاب هذه معظم الأفعال اللي ما تأتي مع المضارع المستمر for example like no the mental actions the emotions the understand want prefer أفعال الحواس like see hear smell taste believe think اللي هي تجيب معنى opinion أو love هذه الأفعال ما ممكن تأتي مع المضارع المستمر. For example, do you hear that strange noise? Not are you hearing. Why? Because here is one of the verb which is not usually, which is not used in the present continuous. We cannot say hearing. حتى لو أقصد الآن، حتى لو أريد أشير للآن. وأشير لهذه اللحظة الحالية لكن ما ممكن أستخدمها بالـ ING He knows very well that he must work hard to earn the job of his dreams Not he is knowing Another example I think Mary is Canadian Not I am thinking Even if I am thinking now But I cannot say I am thinking This is wrong Put the verb into the correct form. Present simple or present continuous. It could be positive, negative or questions. As you can see, this is an exercise, a list of 19 sentences. And then you get to choose either a present simple or present continuous depending on the situation of the sentence. Now, we can choose بسيط أو مضارع مستمر نعتمد على الموقف أو المعنى مالت الجملة For example, number one You come tonight هذه راح تكون Are you coming tonight? So I used here what? I used the present continuous Are you coming tonight? وخليتها بال question لأن عدنا ينتهي بعلامة استفهام فهذه واضحة أنه هنا الجملة question he slash eat rice every day. هسا هل هذه مضارع بسيط لو مضارع مستمر every day. عدنا هنا hint ال every ال every تقريبا تأتي مع المضارع البسيط. وهذه تتكلم عن habit عادة أو روتين يسويه هو كل يوم إنه هو يأكل what rice. So I used here the present simple to talk about a habit, something he does every day. I can replace every by usually, or always, or never. He never eats rice. Oh, he usually eats rice. Oh, he always eats rice. هذه اجت فورمة سؤال لأن لاحظوا تنتهي بـ question mark فهنا راح نستخدم المضارع البسيط أوكي تمام لكن راح نسوي استفهام 
وأنا تكلمت عن شون سون الاستفهام بالمضارع البسيط in the previous lecture وقلنا أكو طريقتين أكو يا أما yes no question أو w h question هنا هذه واضحة إنه yes no question فيكون جوابها ب yes أو no فلاحظوا شنو راح يصير does he eat rice every day استخدمنا does بالبداية مثل ما وضحت لكم إنه نستخدم ال verb to do يا أما do أو does وبال سؤال من نريد نستفهم يتقدم الفعل على الفاعل فصارت does he eat rice واستخدمنا does لأن هي عندنا subject مفرد so does he eat rice every day I work at the moment هنا أنا واضحة at the moment عندنا فنستخدم المضارع المستمر I think you should sell your car you usually فراغ arrive late هسه هنا شنو نستخدم مضارع بسيط لو مضارع مستمر think for a moment اكو هنت بيها usually you usually so you usually usually تأتي مع المضارع البسيط you usually arrive late number six what that man do over there شنو جاي يسوي هناك؟ فمبين إنه أنا جاي استفهم عن شيء الآن جاي يصير الآن فنستخدم المضارع المستمر. What that man is doing over there? Hurry up! Everybody, فراغ wait for you. لاحظوا هو السيتويشن مالت الجملة هو اللي بين لنا هل هذا مضارع بسيط أو مضارع مستمر. So hurry up! Everybody, الجميع بانتظارك. الجميع بانتظارك الآن. So everybody is waiting for you. Number eight. I often, بين قوسين منطيتكم go to work by car. هل هذه مضارع بسيط أم مضارع مستمر نسويها؟ ركزوا شنو عدنا. I often. Often is used with present simple, and to indicate the frequency of the occurring of the habit. So I often go to work by car. So this is the present simple. I often go to work by car. I can replace often with always and say I always go to work by car. I usually go to work by car. I sometimes go to work by car. Like in كلها هذه أفعال الفريكونسي يسموها verbs of frequency. كلها تأتي مع المضارع البسيط ومثل ما نعيد ونكرر إنه كلها تبين إن عدد مرات تكرار ال عادة عادة اللي نس إحنا نسويها الهابت أو الروتين. The moon number eight sorry number nine the moon بين قوسين moves around the earth in about twenty seven days. هسا هذه the moon is moving مضارع مستمر أو the moon moves around the earth مضارع بسيط. What do you say? The situation هنا أنا شنو يبين? This is a fact. هذا fact the moon moves وبال facts قلنا أيضا نستخدم المضارع البسيط فهسه استخدامات المضارع البسيط لل facts لل habits اللي هي عادة تأتي مع ال habits هذه ال adverbs of frequency اللي هي often always usually never sometimes ولل routines ولل jobs هذا هو استخدامات ال present simple The water boil. Can you turn it off? هذه أنا مطيتها لكم كمثال. He normally eats dinner at home. This is present simple. هذا هو الشيء سوي دائما. He normally. Normally عادة يكون معناها قريب على always. فنقدر نعتبرها إنه هذه adverb of frequency. Normally. He normally عادة أو خلينا نقول often. معناها قريب على often. He normally eats dinner at home. She فراغ work at the moment عدنا at the moment فتبين لنا إنه هذا رأس المضارع مستمر فراغ you like spicy food هذا علامة استفهام فهنا أنا لازم أكون فعل بالبداية فهل راح يكون do you like spicy food or are you liking spicy food what do you say of course Do you like spicy food? Why? لأن like أحد الأفعال اللي ما تأتي مع المضارع المستمر. She فراغ work every Sunday. 
every Sunday. So this is what an adverb of frequency and we use it with present simple. So she works every Sunday. I often read at night. This is present simple. Farag, you believe in God? So do you believe in God or are you believing in God? What do you say in, in number 17? Are you believing in God or do you believe in God? Of course, do you believe in God? Why? لأن البليف أحد الأفعال اللي ما ممكن أن تأتي مع المضارع المستمر I am hungry I for I want something to eat So I want Or I am wanting something to eat مضارع بسيط لو مضارع مستمر راح تكون الجواب مضارع بسيط لأن again Want is one of the verbs which are not used in the present continuous form Understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? Or are you understanding what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? Because understand is one of the verbs which is not used in the continuous form. So that's it for the present continuous and the present simple and the differences between the two. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my lecture. And I hope that it's clear now the differences between the two. See you.